someone once whispered in my ear a question. What would happen if the Marquis de Sade couldn't get it hard? And I thought of it. And I figured he'd do what any one of us would do in his place. He'd journey to find an erratic, hypersexual crocodile god of fertility living in a distant mythical land and steal his mojo back. Good premise for a story. So I turned this story into an opera. The most audacious, bawdy, downright filthy, filthy, filthy thing ever to happen to classical music in the history of everything, ever. It takes classical music down some very, very dark alleyways and gives it the right to put a scene to. It's called The Crocodile of Old Ken and it's punk opera, the first of its kind. But don't take my word for it, here's what the critics said. Parisians going about their day-to-day -day lives. And from the side of the stage walks on a proclaimer from the Palace of Versailles and he's looking for the Marquis de Sade, the infamous and notorious. And for those that don't know who the Marquis de Sade is, look him up, because <laughs> he's a cat. The Marquis de Sade is not a cat. So it begins with the Marquis de Sade. Has anybody seen Marquis de Sade and the girls come out of their windows and they say who the Marquis de Sade and we get the first piece our opening gambit called the proclamation and so things progress and we find the Marquis very quickly up to his tricks in his dungeon in his next dungeon that's where he hangs out that's where he spends his time and there's a piece called The Marquis' Lament, where we, the audience, discover that he's got a few problems. I'm not going to get away with playing this. Why don't you just bleep quite a lot of it out? I'm going to have to bleep quite a lot of it out. So, do forgive me, I'm sure you'll get to hear it when you see the piece in the flesh. <laughs> The music stays very classical whilst we stay in Paris, whilst we are in the 18th century. But as soon as we hear of old Canpao, the music changes. This is interesting because I don't adhere to the classical rules. I don't have to stay anywhere. I go where I like, musically speaking. I go where the story takes us. You're coming with me. Well, clearly, I need help. We have this very new thing that I've had to call punk opera because there's nothing to, to call it otherwise. It defies characterization. It's new. It's a new idea. It encapsulates a lot of different talents. Where is flashing eyes? Beware the hair! But it's a crocodile without a tail! 
and all of these talents in this new form need nurturing. And historically speaking, anything of this nature needs patrons. It needs a bit of TLC. It needs you. It needs you to help it grow and get stronger and bigger and firmer. So if you can give something towards our cause, you will see your money very, very well spent. And you can come and see it in the flesh for yourself. Let's begin. Let's begin.